with diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes, and an ecological biosphere that supports life. This wonderful planet is our earthly home. From our animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforests and life-giving soil, we cherish all these as gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here, we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidences which pinpoint the raising of livestock as the number one contributor to climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past few decades. We must be vegetarian, meaning an animal-free diet, and practice sustainable living. Today we present to you part one of a 14-part series titled The Secrets of Venus, a discussion by Supreme Master Ching Hai with Supreme Master Television staff concerning the detrimental impacts of the meat diet on human health, the environment, and ultimately the health of our planet as well as other planets. Thank you. Please, please be comfortable. Please be seated. <laughs> Love you guys. Love You're you, good, good. Master. Ah, yeah. Oh, you look okay. very beautiful, Master. Hello. 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 All these good, hard-working people. Yeah. Beloved Master, we feel so lucky to be blessed by your presence today. Thank you so much for sharing some of your precious time. And we are so grateful for everything that you are doing for the Earth and the multitude of beings here. I can't do it alone. You guys are really great help. Also, all your brothers and sisters, yeah? And the vegetarian outside, the vegan, vegetarian, fruitarian, Solarian, uh, breatharian, etc., etc., as well as the non vegetarian people. They are also helping a lot now and they are changing to a vegetarian diet, which is very beneficial to our planet. I'm very happy that uh, you are doing well. I know you're working hard. <laughs> All these beautiful, exquisite people. My God. I know you wanted to ask me some question long ago, you know, some hot topic like Venus and all that. But we have been busy, yeah? You know that, right? Yes. And I really squeeze it in <laughs> so we can have some time together. Maybe, who knows, we can save the planet. Then you can see me every day whenever you want. Yeah. Okay, tell me. Yeah, we are discussing stuff, right? Yes, Master, yes. 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 <laughs> right. We have lots of questions for you. <laughs> ah, yeah, please. Go ahead. I am listening. Hi, Master. I have the first question. Scientists reported that billions of years ago, Venus could have had oceans like Earth, but they dried up partly because Venus was so close to the sun. Still, the presence of water um, could have mean that there was physical life there, and scientists um, believe today that there is microbial life. Was Venus mm. ever like Earth, sustaining life? Yes, yes, it was, yes. It was once a beautiful planet, and uh, now it's no more. There's no life up there at all, not life as we know of, yeah? Uh, it's a pity, no? Mm. The beings that were there before, did they look like us? Yes, yes. Yeah, they did look like us. 
<laughs> so how does it happen that um, Mars, Earth, and Venus were all inhabited by humanoid-looking beings like us? Um, did we have similar ancestors? Thank you, Master. Yes, we have only one ancestor. That is God, huh? Yes. But some <laughs> fallen angel. Hmm? Hmm. Now, uh, the reason they look similar to us because we had the similar merit. Eh? Mars, Venus, and some other planet in our galaxy. In our galaxy only, yeah? Don't ask so too far away, then I will never get out of Samadhi. <laughs> <laughs> Your question is simple, but I have to check, okay? It takes some time. And also, we have been physically busy for the planetary survival. So I had to sacrifice your request and put it back, you know, up to today. And I yeah, try very hard to get it in today. Yes? Okay? Thank yeah. you, Master. Yes. Tell me, what else? Mars is known today as the red planet and Venus is boiling hot. Yes. Did Venus yes. ever um, have a landscape similar to Earth with thriving life and green hills, blue seas, or did it have a different landscape? Yes, yes, they have similar. Our neighboring planet, like Venus, Mars, yeah, have similar landscape. Some are more strikingly exquisite, more beautiful. Uh, perhaps uh, if we have time a little later on or your question comes up, I will tell you, okay? Okay. Hi, Master. Hi. How technologically advanced were the Venusians before the mass destruction? Ah, very advanced, much more than us. Uh, sadly, only technology advancement. Yeah, not much else, and that's why. You see, they have been a little bit too materialistic, huh? They have been very proud of their own achievement and pay very little attention to the divine nature of the inner kingdom. Hmm? They were too proud. They had too much uh, advantages from technology, and they think they are God. Yes? They thought they could do anything they want. In fact, almost physically. Uh, let me see if I have anything there for you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead, and then... <laughs> Maybe I can tell you some other things. Was there an enlightened master before the time of the destruction on Venus? There have been, but they destroyed them immediately. Uh, you see, I told you they have been too proud of their material uh, achievement and too arrogant to listen to anyone who talk about something abstract like God or something like value of the inner kingdom or moral standard, etc. Therefore, none of the masters survive. And later, no more master was sent there, of course. Just a few beginning, and they almost terminated them immediately. Master, how many people practiced spiritually at the time? How many people? None, maybe, none. Oh my God. Yes. Wow. Sorry about that. This Venus, eh? only, yeah? Mm, yes? Any more questions? That's it. Thank you, Master. Welcome. Master, did the yes. Venus inhabitants have a solution like being vegan before the mass extinction? No, no. No. They know nothing about vegan, about compassion, about uh, the interconnectedness between lives. And that's why they faced such a terrible end, hmm? worse than Mars. And what kind of disaster occurred on Venus? Explosive and poisonous gases from livestock as well, and that in turn trigger other gases, yeah, from all sides. And then they just explode within a few weeks, like eight or nine weeks. Everything 